needless to say, here is a delegate from Texas. Everything about him, about him screams Texas. So we have a flag march. And uh, districts who didn't have representatives from the districts, the other district directors or other district trio members were allowed to carry their flags. This is um, our district director, Mohan, carrying the flag off. Which Japan. flag is this? Japan, huh? Bangladesh. 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 Bangladesh, exactly. Bangladesh flag, Mohan was carrying that evening. Amazing evening, full of fun, laughter and loud music. The next day morning was the semi-finals that we all didn't want to miss. Semi-finals was of supreme quality. There was a closely contested contest and we didn't know whom to vote for. The audience were also given a QR code to do an online voting, but our votes were not taken to consideration. They had proper ballots that were collected by the tally counters. And this was the first semi-final that I attended in room one and room two. Parallelly, another semi-finals was conducted. Post-lunch, three and four was conducted. And I attended three along with our District 82 leaders. Uh, because we grabbed the front row seats as Ravi Udwala from District 82, our very own member. So we were one district before and I knew Ravi very much over the past years. So we were there to cheer for Ravi and uh, Ravi gave an amazing uh, semi-final speech. And that took him to the finals of the world champion of public speaking. Amazing speech by Ravi. And that's him grabbing the trophy right after the results were announced. That evening was Hall of Fame. And I think Gayatri's legs would have been extremely um, exhausted because she was running up and down the stage, grabbing some of the most prestigious awards of the evening, like Smedley Distinguished Award, President's Extension Award, President's 20 Plus Award, many such awards. Everyone knew we were from District 120 because of Gayatri and uh, what a momentous occasion that evening. Uh, so there are some other friends, some of the delegates there flaunting in uh, their uh, costume that they had decided to wear specifically for the Hall of Fame. Look how beautiful they all look, isn't it? Again, continuation, there we are at the Smedley Distinguished uh, Award recipient on the stage uh, with our uh, Indian flag and the banner. That's uh, Mohan flaunting his awards as a PQD. And the TI PR team did interviews with all the Smedley recipients and that's Mohan giving his interview. I'm hoping we will get to see the video very soon. We finished this glorious evening with a good two scoop of ice cream that night at 11.30. And that's the last picture for the day that we had taken. The next day morning was the annual business meeting. In my life in 13 years of uh, Toastmastering, I've never seen an annual business meeting super casual like that. The last picture on the right that you see where everyone is seated and listening, that is the only two minutes there was order in the room because the nominees, the contestants who are contesting for the positions of region advisors, they are giving their election speeches for two minutes. That was the only time the room looked this mannered. Otherwise, there was loud music, singing, people were running in trains when the tally for the voting was happening. Super chaotic and I totally didn't believe it was an annual business meeting. Then we have uh, Gauri Seshadri, our very own, who was elected as the second vice president. Again, a momentous occasion for all of us. That picture with Mohan and Ashwati is our new president, Radhi Spear. After Radhi Spear gave her acceptance speech, it was new for me to see all the district CGDs line up and they hand over new club charter forms to the incoming president. What an amazing way to welcome the president, isn't it? So that is our district handing over four new club uh, charter certificates to Radhi Spear, our international president. The next day morning was the most awaited world championship speech. There were two time disqualifications, unbelievable. I personally felt the quality of semi-finals was very good compared to the finals. And that's Luisa uh, giving her acceptance speech after winning. And we have our chair, Aleta, the first vice president, who was chairing the contest. If there was one thing absolutely worth going to the convention, it was the museum curated to celebrate the 100 years of Toastmasters. The right extreme picture, that big trophy that you see, was the best speaker trophy that was given in a club meeting. What an amazing club meeting that would have been, isn't it? It was a rolling trophy. And look at the charter certificate of our first club, Smedley Chapter 1 Club. And so many other artifacts were presented in the museum. 
Uh, those are the pins and magnets from all the conventions that happened in the past. The golden gavel, which is presented to a golden gavel recipient who's other than uh, a Toastmaster, who's a non-Toastmaster that's presented every year. Look at the center picture. That is the club agenda a long, long time ago. And uh, on the right extreme, we have the evaluation sheet. I'm going to share pictures in the WhatsApp so that you can take a closer look. This is not Ranganathan Sri T. Nagar. This is the TI merchandise store. People were lining up to grab pens, ribbons, diaries, whatnot from the TI merchandise store. Absolute fun. And the last picture that you see is our district director right out from the purchase for the district merchandise. There were special corner booths arranged for this convention. The first one is a white uh, room where if you post, uh, it will look like you are on the cover page of the Toastmasters magazine. A very exciting one. We all stood in long keys, uh, queues there because it was absolutely worth it. They had props like Mike, Gavel, and the trophy to hold on to. So you can post uh, uh, as though you have won or you're about to exhibit something. There was this 100-year corner where they had made placards as once in a lifetime in different languages. And uh, you can post and click a picture. This is one corner called the championship corner. All the past champions and the current uh, contestants uh, post here. And we were all curious as to who will be the next 2024 world champion. This is a picture I want to treasure for my Toastmasters life. Meeting all the world champions under one roof. So these were the world champions who showed up in person during this convention. We have from the left, we have Aaron Beverly, Lance Miller, my favorite, Jim Key in the center. I'm meeting Jim Key after 10 years. And we have uh, Greg Valentine, we have Mark Brown, Darren LeCroy. What an amazing feat to see everyone under one roof in one evening. The next big bang is at Philadelphia on the 20th of August, 20, uh, 20th of August to 23rd of August, 2025. If you felt you were not able to make it this time to the convention, it's never too late to be there to the next convention. See you all in Philadelphia. Thank you for the opportunity. Back to the Toastmaster of the day. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Wonderful That's experience. Really cool. Yeah. You are taking us for a virtual tour. Yes, tour. exactly. Correct. We have seen some pictures. We were really wonder. It was really awesome. But now, as usual, good, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Viji. Your pictures actually made us uh, travel the Conviction con Chronicles also. And I am very sure like you had a lot of fun, a lot of networking, and of course, a lot of learning also. Thanks for sharing. And next, I would like to talk about is like a reflective listening. So reflective listening involves 